Today it's the 29th of September and this date is actually the anniversary of a news posting at HBO that is halo.bungie.org and this posting is about a flash film I made back in 2002 so that's 13 years ago and this flash film is actually just a showcase of the different render modes of Master Chief in Halo 2 so you can pick between them and then have an overlay that you can also can pick which which two modes you want to compare. Um, th this was pretty nice to see what, what bump mapping actually did back then. And I've recreated this now in a more modern fashion and I figured I would show you what I've done. So first I'll show you what I'm using. Um, I have an Oculus Rift EK2 and a a uh, Razer Hydra. So the capture feed will be slightly laggy because I'm still running Windows 7 and window capture with Windows 7 is kind of crappy. What I'm seeing now is in full 3D. I can sense depth and it's to normal scale. So it's, Master Chief is actually as tall as he would be if in reality. And this model is from Halo 3. As my old flash film this tool has the different render modes. So we have wireframe, untextured, pump map or normal mapping. And I can lean in and look at details. And the fully textured and shaded model. In addition to just being able to look at them, I also have gun here, which has a flashlight on it. So I can actually look at details, you can see it reflecting off the visor. So I can Move the shadow around, see how the normal mapping works. And I can actually change the brightness of it. I also have in my second hand the oddball. Doesn't do much, but it has very very fine texturing. As like some extra extra models, I have a machine gun turret. I have a flood carrier. And here we have a sentinel. You can kind of kind of go in here and look at the detail. We go over here, we have a grunt. That's kind of creepy eyes, I have to say. I expect the grunts to be much smaller when they're through the scale. This one doesn't look so fresh, but this one is a bit nicer. Here we have an elite. They really tower over you. And it's kind of and has a scary mouth. You also have a jackal here and um, unfortunately his shield is passing through his leg but I guess that's why he's making the face. In addition to having these, these extra models I also have a different weapon. So this is the <laughs> grab the hammer. It's kind of huge. Now it doesn't feel like it has any weight so that's, that's kind of weird. But... And in this hand I can swap out the oddball Oddball to the salt bomb. It actually shines shines off of object. Final thing I have that you can carry and carry with your gun. Randomize the color and everything. Personally I'm very excited about virtual reality and I really want to experience things like the Halo universe in an official product. Perhaps not an, enti an entire game, but maybe just something like this, a model viewer. That, that's because this movement without actually moving is causing nausea for very many people. I don't think I can release this because the models are actual extractions from the game. But I wanted to see things in scale and I figured I would show you what I've done. And I hope you find this interesting. Thank you very much for watching. Whoa. Mm-hmm.